hello everyone this is muskan and i hope all of you are doing really good so in this video i will be discussing about the application procedure of ghc initially i thought of doing a video like a uh, one video in which i will cover the application procedure then essays and then my experience in ghc but i thought that it will be a really long video if i will start doing it and it will just cross one hour so instead i'll what i'll do is i'll make it a series and i will just divide the video into parts and uh, yeah so this is the first part wherein i will be discussing about the application procedure next part i'll be discussing about the essays and the resumes and how you can tailor it specific to gsc and the third part would be my experience in gsc and how you can make the best out of it yeah so the first part is the application procedure i there, there's a sample form uh, for gsc or the application form i will just put the link of it in the comment section in the description box below so that you can you know just have a look of what the application uh, form looks like and right now what i am what i'm doing is i'm going through each and every step and i will brief you about what you have to fill it in okay so the first thing is the application inform uh, applicant information so in that this is pretty basic actually the entire form is pretty basic only it just asks you your uh, personal information and everything so the first thing is it just asks you your first name middle name as you fill in each and every form and then your address city okay so it is very uh, basic then the next thing that they ask then the next thing that they mentioned is the student eligibility so in this anyone can apply i think this is the best part about gsc that anyone can apply like it is not important that you should be in your like you should be a college student and then you can apply i'm not really sure if uh, a uh, non college student can apply or not but for college students if you're in first year or second year or third year you can apply and also another good thing about gsc is that you can apply multiple times and you you have like e you have the same probability of getting the uh, scholarship like it is not like i've received it this year so next year i am less probable or i am less like my chances of getting the scholarship are less it is not like that like people have received the scholarship like multiple times so yeah that is another good thing so then they have mentioned the eligibility so they have mentioned that you must be a full time student enrolled in an accredited degree program at a college or university so i think uh, it is important for you to be a college student but i am not really sure if it is for btech or for other programs as well so yeah apart from that they have not mentioned any uh, cgpa cut off which i think is another very good thing so yeah people in people with like any cgpa can apply and they have also mentioned that they should demonstrate an an interest in computer science of course gsc is the largest gathering of women in tech so they expect that the people who are attending it or the people who are passionate for attending it should have interests in computer science because you know there will be women around the world like who have done wonders in the field of tech yeah so they will obviously want like minded people and people who will be able to relate but they have not mentioned any uh, branch cut off so it is not important that you should be uh, from computer science branch or it branch or not like any branch related to computer science you should just have that passion that interests in, in computer science yeah so there is no branch restriction as well apart from that they mentioned that you must be at least 18 years of age so yeah and apart from that you can just give it a read i'll just put the uh, link to this form in the description box below and then they have mentioned that what are they looking for in a student scholar which i think is very important most of us just miss it but i think in the, like if you will because like before writing my essays i just read it and i just like try to like whatever i'm writing i just tried to focus that whatever i'm writing their needs are fulfilled what they are trying to look in a scholar if your essays contain all of it so obviously your the chances of you getting selected will increase so i think this is very important and because it is such a long application form so most of us tend to miss it but okay so what they mentioned is that student scholars are active in their community including being involved with 
campus computing stem clubs and working so here as i told you that they are not just looking for people who are very good in dsa or who have done a lot of project but they're looking for leaders or and they're looking for people who are passionate about tech or they have done something to uplift people around them not just themselves but what have you done to help other women help the women around you that are there and so you have to mention that and it is not important that it should be a really great thing even a small thing maybe uh, for example if you have mentioned that uh, maybe you have helped some girls in your college to understand a problem or maybe if suppose i know web development so maybe i can teach web development to the other girls or anything you can just mention it okay it is not important that it should be a very big uh, thing so yeah then the next is an understanding of how attending gsc will have an impact on the scholar and any messages or key learning that they take back to share at their school this is very important basically these are the two essays that are there so they want to know that when you get the scholarship or if they give it how are you going to use it because it is not a monetary amount right like they are going to fund your registration or they are they are going to give like uh, you ha- you don't have to pay anything for attending gsc i think there is some particular amount i'm not really sure about that but you have to buy tickets and and the tickets are sold out in minutes so like they are it is not a monetary amount they are providing you an opportunity to attend at that particular event so they want to know like how will you make use of it and once you are done like once that uh, that event is over after attending that what impact are you going to put on the people around you okay so they really want to know about that for example like while i was filling even my year it was virtually only but while i was filling so i saw a video just like this in which she mentioned that she uh, like uh, she clicked photographs at various booths and everything and she just put it on her twitter and instagram and everything and just let everyone know that she was attending gsc and then what is it so that the girls that who have, who have not applied in the previous year will definitely apply in the upcoming years right so yeah that is really important so they want to know that and make sure that you mention some very good points in that and obviously these are the two essays that are there basically the essay topics i am going to cover it in most probably part 2 of this uh, gsc series okay so now the next thing is that please note okay so those are some of the common conditions then they have asked you your age and gender then they have asked you okay then they have asked some personal information about you that is okay and then they have also asked about the education and career information so here in the education and career information they have mentioned uh a uh, like graduate phd and masters also so i think master students like students who are pursuing their masters are also eligible for this particular program okay and also they have mentioned graduate so i'm not really sure what is this but they have mentioned if you are a graduate so that you guys what you can do is like they have mentioned an email and they are really quick in responding so apart from that if you have any uh, doubts you should definitely mail them before you know just don't assume anything just mail them or maybe just contact few people on linkedin or just directly mail them and they will definitely respond to you because you know you get i think around a month's time to fill it or even more so you have a good amount of time to fill the application thoroughly yeah so yeah then they have asked you about the graduation program and everything and another okay and now the next thing that they have asked is your gpa but they have not mentioned anything that they are going to give an edge to the people with higher gpa but what i have observed is it is totally my observation i'm not really sure about it that if you have a good gpa then it gives an edge 
to you because obviously they want people who are able to manage suppose you are attending an event or anything and your academics is suffering and you're not able to manage it so that is also not a good point so they want uh, girls that are able to manage and also they are academically good but that is not like it will obviously give you an edge but that is not the like the end case suppose if you are not with good gpa so it's not like your chances are really low or anything but that is just a plus point so just try to keep your gpa or cgpa as good as possible okay so the next thing that they have asked is that have you previously attended gsc or not i'm not really sure like like if this will make an impact on the selection procedure but they have just asked it and the years when you have attended and then the next question then the next part of the application procedure and the most important one are your essays and like they have written a lot like how you should write your essays and most of the students just do not read it so i think it is very important to read it and in that they have mentioned like the first essay topic is that tell us why you want to attend gsc and what type of impact will being at a conference focused on women in computing will have on you and you have to um, like write the entire thing in 200 words as i told you so yeah we will be covering how to write the essays and everything in the next video now the second part is how will you share your experience at gsc with others what type of impact will your experience at gsc have on others so yeah this actually these are the two topics that are like the very common ones like word to word the topics are not similar obviously but like most of the applications for example generation google scholarship is there then wit is there so most of them the main focus is this only so if you are someone who are you know preparing for the essays then you're not just preparing for the essays that you have to submit in gsc you are preparing for the other essays as well for example i remember i wrote my essays for generation google scholarship that was before uh, the when i filled the applications for gsc and the efforts reduced to a lot like for example i, I whatever uh, things I learned while I was filling the Generation Google Scholarship essays. Like I applied so many of them in this particular scholarship as well. So yeah, the essays are really important because it will help you in other scholarships as well. So yeah, the, uh, then essay is there, then resume is there. This is another important thing. Yeah, and both the essays, there is a word limit of 200 words. Then, as uh, then, uh, there is an official transcript. An official transcript means that, for example, like you can just go to your course page or uh, like whatever online portal is there for your particular college, and then from there you can you should download all the like you should download that particular page in which all the courses that you have covered till that semester and what are your grades so there should be an option for transcript in your uh, uh, portal so yeah and it should not be official or anything there was a lot of confusion at my time you can simply make a pdf out of it and you can simply upload it okay yeah and also they have mentioned what is an actual transcript like they've mentioned that it is an electronic copy of your grade report for your uh, current college studies yeah so they, they mentioned also so yeah that is there and then the next thing another very important thing for uh, the GHC applications is the letter of recommendation it is mandatory for each and every applicant to have uh, at least one letter of recommendation so yeah it is mentioned also that one recommendation is mandatory for all student applicants only one recommendation may be submitted yeah so you should contact uh, it is mandatory that the recommendation should be provided by a faculty member and yes it is mandatory also and i think it is important also so right now what i can suggest is that uh, there is a lot of time with you all so maybe you can do some project work under your faculty or maybe you can do some research work under your faculty so that you know the faculty also knows you and you also know the faculty he or she knows your plus points and your minus points so that uh, like suppose you have done the research work under a particular faculty then when the applications will open 
what you can do is you can ask that particular faculty to write a letter of recommendation for you because i think it is very important uh, that you should get the lor only from the faculty that know you really well because otherwise because you cannot see what they have written you just have to you know just type their mail here and they will directly get the uh, mail from them so you are not going to see what they have mentioned so it is very important that uh, the faculty writes good about you and not just good i think they they tell them what, like that you have worked under them yeah and also just one important thing that whatever you're mentioning in your uh, essays don't mention it in the resume and just also like if you are comfortable enough with the faculty that okay you can have a conversation with them then also tell them that uh, this 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 i've already mentioned these are the achievements that i've already mentioned in my resume as well as my essay so maybe they can mention things apart from that okay because you see that resume you, resume should be one page then essays essay answer should be 200 so everything is limited so you cannot afford to repeat things right like it should be like uh, you you have to cover so many things in a limited space so you should cover everything very smartly so yeah that is another uh, very important thing that you should remember and then lastly there are just some acknowledgments and everything and yeah this was the application procedure so that is all of the application procedure and i will suggest do not fill your application on the last day because that just doesn't work just start writing your essays and i think that the essay topics are same for uh, like every year i think so but maybe the exact topics are not same but uh, the main agenda that they want to see the leadership skills and how are you going to make use of ghc and everything that is same so you start working upon yourself and how you can make your application procedure strong yeah thank you